Hi guys, this is me, the boss gamer, and today, guys, I bring you another tutorial for you guys. So, uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a body slide for your physics armor or outfits. Basically, this is a requested video, uh, one of my Patreon members and my Patreon page. So yeah guys, let's start with this tutorial and also guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, bring your own custom 3D model. I don't have custom 3D model, because, but I'm going to show you how to do that basically. It is really simple and easy. It is all about the skeleton. Just uh, make sure you change this skeleton reference and I'm going to show you. It's so easy and simple basically. So first thing you want to need is your uh, this XMP32 Maximum Skeleton from Nexus. This is basically give you a custom skeleton. You can do any animation and also you can do physics on this skeleton so yeah you know you want to download this latest version of that and also you need the latest version of outfit studio to to you uh, to download so yeah after that what you're gonna do is go to your file go to uh, settings in here guys and go to file reference skeleton down here sorry for any bag background noise guys today is kind of busy day outside so yeah uh, as you see you have file and you have root node the root node keep it same don't change anything in here only you want to change the file just go to browse then go to your uh, female and select this one SSE this one and you open it as you see guys this is have physics I use this for uh, making my own uh, physics armors and bodies and things like that I'm using this skeleton this is really good why is that because a vanilla skeleton when you try to bring it in an creation kit it just crashes the uh, your uh, your uh, creation kit basically yeah once you ch when you, once you choose that it's head open and head ok and that's it now no vanilla skeleton should be like that this is flattened bones basically like that it should be like this as for um, physics bones, let me show you. I'm just trying to explain a few things to you, not this one. Uh, let me where the cursor. Uh, yeah, this one. Now, this one, I'm, us uh, I'm using this type of uh, a skeleton. This is an uh, XP32 maximum skeleton. Basically, this has seen root as NPC. You can just go down and find your physics bones this way. It is really simple and easy, guys. So, yeah there's two different skeletons for the for the this one and that one so how to export this type like i said go file make sure it goes settings and make sure you choose that skeleton so yeah after that you when you did that just bring your uh here bring your um, uh, your armor or, or your body whatever you're using so uh, then after that i'm gonna export it as you see when i export it like that let me change to desktop here uh, type it I'm gonna put type 1000 in here just for example I don't need to use this anymore but let me show you here there it is my bones is still there nothing been destroyed or, me or the mesh is stretched or anything like that the, the bone physics is still intact yeah that how you do it basically now if you want to change um, to add the uh, body slide to this it's really also simple just let me just change this copy here so go to your file you want to make body slide just go to file new project now if you have different like 3 bbe cb whatever i only have cbb to umb i don't use to um i only have that but if you have different to select different body size and try uh, hit next after that make from file then just i'm gonna paste dark knight let me type in here armor not this why they're so loud i don't know why oh, sorry about that guy just take a minute armor go to browse files i'm gonna go to my storage here and i go i'm gonna go to my uh, let's see i have so many uh, this is my uh, folder where i keep all my mods let me see a second in here uh, there it is so I'm gonna select this one you want to select one then you're gonna select zero it's up to you guys you want to select one or two but I always select zero it's up to you guys so I'm gonna hit finish and there's it there it is uh, now you want to choose the body you want to choose these two this is virtual ground we don't need that 
so I'm gonna choose this one now you're gonna go to your here to increase the mesh volume in here and fix your armor make sure you fit the armor to the body this way now this armor doesn't uh, this this armor does not have a body in it so I'm not gonna export it with a body but if your armor have a body you want to just replace the body then you I'm gonna show you how to do that basically it's really simple guys after that when you did that just go here to sliders set base shape and then go again to sliders and confirm all and hit OK and you're gonna see status bar in here it should be finished now when I go here as you see it's changed and uh, let me just you see guys it does change and when I do this um, back you see working make sure it tested before you do anything as you see it's working now uh, so go to your file then go save project as like that uh, you will new named it there it should be same now this is up to you you want to go low and high weight uh, uh, output is like that let me show you you should when you do this when you choose this option it should be like zero and one like that but I always go for single weight output instead both of them it's much easier to work with now this is here the, the important part is guys copy reference shape into output basically you copy this CBB body in here if you want to copy keep the reference if you do but this armor this uh, dark knight armor does not have any body in it so I gonna uncheck that and hit save I will not hit save because um, I don't want to create body slide for this but this is how you do it basically this is how you create a body slide for your physics armor and uh, but make sure guys you change go to settings and change your reference skeleton so you want to destroy your bones or destroy your meshes because the the, the, the skeleton is different uh, make sure you choose the X, X, uh, XP32 skeleton you uh, from you download it from the uh, Nexus uh, website you can use any Nexus manager you can use Nexus old manager you can use outfits uh, sorry outfits, uh, you can use vortex you can use a uh, mod organizer tool it's up to you guys whatever you choose to download it through that manager then you want to download outfits to the latest version and basically you're good to go so that how you basically export import uh, uh, physics armors or outfits or even body this is how you do it basically but but I don't have three BBE CB whatever that I don't have only I have CBB so but basically the same concept that how you export now this is like fast course tutorial I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining all, every single thing in this with probably this will take around like maybe three four videos so yeah and uh, now let me here go new clear reference yeah, so now let's say you made your own 3d model now, now this is like second tutorial now I'm gonna show you how to bring your own 3d model let's say you created a dragon 3d model or dragger or, or vampire lord 3d model from blender or, or 3d max now how to do that if you bring it here and export it your your mesh I mean your model will be completely destroyed why because this had different skeleton now to change let's say for example I say I don't have a dragon uh, 3d model but let's say you made dragon 3d model you scanned you rigged it everything is ready to go from 3d max to blender now you want to fix few weight issues so what you're gonna do is go here like in the in, in, uh, same like in uh, previously I showed you just go to settings go here and change reference skeleton to a uh, uh, dragon skeleton if you have you made like a dragger uh, 3d model like custom dragger 3d model whatever you want to change the, the the skeleton in here if you have like a custom uh, 3d model for uh, let's say a vampire lord you want to change this uh, also this uh, skeleton every time you want to bring a new custom creatures or new 3d model or anything you want to change this skeleton if you don't change the skeleton what will happen when you export it your mesh and your model be completely destroyed it was, it was just stretched out your bones kind of messed and you know it was really bad kind of bad very bad so yeah that how you do it so simple and easy guys so yeah this is two tutorial today I'm showing you there is not a lot of tutorials about how to export and import the physics bodies or there is no video basically in YouTube showing how to import a custom 3d models and how to change them so yeah this is how to do it so if you already know how to do all that uh, good to you if you are a, mo a modder and you're already familiar with this this is not your video this is uh, for, for, uh, for those uh, people who doesn't know how to use 
uh, how uh, they do the uh, how to export and import like a physics body or create a body slide for them or even uh, bring uh, custom 3d models that how you do it so simple and easy guys yeah guys so guys do not forget to subscribe like and share the video and if you have any type of questions just leave them down in comments uh, uh, below the video in the comment section and yeah guys uh, also guys do not forget to support me on patreon page uh, where i make a lot of mods armor mods follower mods and things like that also guys do not forget to like like i said and share this video with your friends and, and m more people will be much better so yeah guys uh, I'm gonna see you guys later and have fun and peace.